Hi, glad you could join me again for my illustration tutorials and welcome to this series on how to draw cartoon characters. Okay, this cartoon character is going to be that long and lanky cool cat, <laughs> the Pink Panther. Okay, so I'm now a long character, okay, with a head that seems to go across this way. So you start off with a, a head shape that comes across like that, with the back of its head a curve front comes down to its like a chin so it's that kind of shape there. Uh, strangely enough the Pink Panther's ears are kind of tacked onto the back of his head so with these two shapes there and the eyes seem to kind of roam free in the middle. <laughs> you know seem to have a life of their own. A circle there and another circle there and of course Elvis is this kind of uh, sleepy look about him so you have to close the eyes and uh, then put in the eyebrows which again seem to have a life of their own. And they kind of hang about up there, okay, and then the top of the uh, the nose comes across like that and a triangle shape, there's a triangle, and another triangle shape here for the actual nose, okay, and then like any cat you have a line coming down from the centre of the mouth, curving round and back up, that one too, and then this uh, fills in this kind of shape here, with this chin coming down, and then the rest of his chin underneath there going down towards the neck. You carry on this line here to make the smile. Okay, so there's the uh, the head. The long neck, everything's kind of long and exaggerated with the pink pathos. In the long neck you have uh, the shoulders. I want to draw them standing in a very characteristic pose with folded arms. So this arm comes down at his side, comes across his chest, and will grip his other arm, which comes down here, like that. Okay, the other arm will come down behind that, come up, and it'll appear under there, and these fingers, like that. Um, the back is slightly curved, the whole body is slightly curved, like a long kind of sausage shape coming down, like that. See that kind of shape there, a long sausage shape. It also has a kind of a panel to differentiate between the two tones. There's a kind of pink and a paler colour in here. And that's that panel there. What well, you do is you carry on with this line of the panel coming right down, carry on, that becomes the leg, narrowing in towards the knee, and then out slightly again, very long, down towards these great big flat feet. <laughs> big comedy feet, big part of hers. Like that, okay? Another leg comes in here. Again, coming in, narrowing towards the knee, then out again towards the ankle, and then across, and a couple of big toes. You won't see the other one. And the detail comes up just below, uh, above this line here, it comes in about here, and a curve, a nice graceful curve, and it's a kind of parallel line all the way down, like that. Okay. And his uh, whiskers. One there, one there, and a couple there. Okay, so that's the uh, shape of the pink father sketched in for you. Excellent, so um, let's ink in now. Okay, let's start off with the eyes. That's round top, coming down, and then kind of sloping up a bit more sharply there. And you get the droopy eyelid coming in with the eye just peering out there, okay. <laughs> the other one disappearing there. And uh, this uh, eyebrow, a suspended almost above his eyes there, and then the top of his nose coming out curved like that, down to his actual nose, that triangle shape there, and the top line of his snout, you know, like, and then the top part of his mouth, which comes down to that middle line and curves up, makes a shape like that, and then his long chin underneath there, and his mouth cutting on that line, and another smile with his cheek shape there, okay? And then the underside of his chin coming down to his neck. And the back of his head continues that line through there to those two ears, kind of, as I said, stuck on the back of his head there, <laughs> okay? Coming back around to a sharp curve and then into his neck there, okay? His whiskers, by the way, a couple there, and a couple here, like that. And then down to his 
shoulders and kind of hunched up as he is, uh, you know, he's got his arms folded on this arm here, peering behind that hand, coming up like that. And then you get his thumb shape in there, and then his finger shapes coming around that arm there and appearing like that. Okay, and then his back appearing down to the tail there, and then this the kind of patch shape he has on his front coming up, curving around. You see behind there, coming down and continuing that line down to his leg, into his knee, and then broadening out slightly down to his okay, big place of meat again, <laughs> his big feet, and there, and then there, and his big curve coming there. And then the front of his body coming in like that, with the other leg appearing just there, sloping in and sloping out again into his other big foot, like that, and finish off by drawing the tail, a nice curve up, like that, keep it fairly parallel all the way down, like that, okay, and there we have uh, the pink part, a fairly simple shape, but quite uh, elegant, um, as I said, that's right, he would say that, but uh, Excellent, a nice cartoon character to draw. So I hope you enjoyed that, and hope you can join me next time for my next cartoon character, but uh, in the meantime, of course, all the best, and happy drawing.